They'll be calling you a radical, Kevin Blanche, and I hope this camera's clicking because this camera blows Smith Sodi. That's my old clicker because this finally failed me. This PhD, this incredible, the greatest PhD in human history that I gave, I did. I did the greatest PhD in maybe human history. In American history, right here, I want to talk about this. I'm glad the wind's blowing. I hope the camera's clicking. And what does art do? These paintings of mine, what is it? They record history. Holy Moses, Michelangelo. That's what we do. Michelangelo, art is communication. This is the greatest PhD in human history. I want to talk about the genre of YouTube and abuse, this incredible magnificent and i understand you fear porn and all you people oh a solar flare is going to wipe us out this that the other thing dollar's going to crash gold silver fema camp all this hype i understand you got to add sets account and that's what the american sheep want to be fed and you're trying to make a buck and you have to free them fear porn that's not me hell no all i've done is recorded history in the greatest phd maybe in human history that i've done i've walked it jan brooks phd shane russell's phd I want people to very much know, and I think, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can take your gold thesis, your silver thesis, your up is down, your fake prophecies when you're not prophecy, you get it dead wrong every time. This is the most important event in human history that alters human history forever. It's going to end you madly in it? Hell no. Hell no, it's going to mutate it, change it forever. It's going to kill millions and billions and billions of people via cancer for Hundreds and hundreds of years, absolutely. It's going to wipe out the entire sea. No, but Pacific Genocide, as Nancy says so beautifully. I think it's so important, this story coming out of Japan on the dolphins. The wells, which are really dolphins. The clock struck midnight. It's high noon right now. The clock struck midnight. You're still at pause on these catastrophes going to shit out of it. And I want to talk a little bit, too, about the epic drought. And you people say, oh, how'd you get snow the next day? Hello, hello. What happens in front of a storm? The south wind blows. Right, kids? Right. Watch this. I've been saying for two years that we're going to get this. And if you live in Las Vegas, you live in Utah, for that matter, anyone in the United States, you need to prepare now. And I'm telling you how you prepare. You need to go to Home Depot and find out who, whatever slave company is making your filters, because there'll be a run on them, and you won't even be able to get your hands on them here soon. This epic storm, I know people that were on I-80. person was killed, 25 people, they said it was black. It's April. That dust storm blew through here was epic. What's all that dust out there? Let's see, the Nevada test site. Oh, what, that's in the past tense? No, that's in the present tense. For time and all eternity, 24,500 years, the half-life of plutonium. There's a reason we're the cancer capital of the world in southern Utah. And again, not hypothesis, not got my PhD. Okay, great PhD, the hypothesis. What was my hypothesis done before Fukushima happened? We're going to get a mega nuclear catastrophe with mega freaking fusion in Japan or at San Onofre or Diablo Canyon. And the government's going to cover it up. And the NSA's going to cover it. And the American sheep are going to go along with it. And the people that are going to try to grasp out the fear mongers are trying to spin this into lunacy, alienville, throw it in with everything else. And that's how it's going to, it's going to kill millions of people and they won't even know it killed them. That was my hypothesis. You don't believe my? It's all over YouTube. It's right there. I don't care who watches these. This is recording history. This is a PhD, the great PhD Shane Russell did, the great PhD Jan Brooks did, the great PhD that Ratchet did. This is 1,500 days. The greatest PhD maybe in human history that I completed, that I've done, and which I'm still doing. Right down to my own leukemia. It's going to give you leukemia, it's going to give you leukemia, the hypothesis, the hypothesis, the hypothesis. Oh, my father was nuked to death in the Nevada test site. That's not hypothesis, that's the truth and reality. Watch him die of leukemia. Annika Chernobyl, watch her die of leukemia. My hypothesis all over. We're going to get a major nuclear catastrophe, a major, and the government's going to freak cover up and the propaganda machines are going to go to work and you sheep and the American populace are so ignorant, thus post ignorance. It's called post ignorance, thus post ignorance. The American populace has been dummied down through their own dogma, through their own ingrain, through their own baby boomer arrogance. That was my hypothesis. It's all over YouTube. It's all over YouTube. Then it happened. Then I did the work. That's what great PhDs, you have to go out in the theater and feel. These academians, these professors that are sitting around regurgitate the analysis of the analysis. That's not a PhD. Yet you're handed one, yet you're trying to teach. That's not a PhD. This is a PhD. I had to go out and do the work. Leading the Million Mass Man March with a police escort. Who could do that? Who could get a police escort on a Tuesday? In Washington, he shut down the whole city. Oh, I did it. John Anthony, Steve Grant, we did it. 
all this work that's been accomplished across this theater and the greatest PhD maybe in human history that I've done. Oh, it's gonna be like, why fighting for my life? I want, I, this is how arrogant the American populace is. The world pop I'm still getting emails and letters telling people how to fix my cancer. I had AML de nuvo. It's a death sentence. Survival rate 0.04. First person in the United States to survive it, maybe in the world, that they've ever known without a bone marrow transplant. First one ever. And you're sending me? I survived it. Really? That's the arrogance. Oh, here, try this. By the way, I want people to know inside the bone marrow transplant, again, my PhD, this is no hypothesis. This is the work. This is the work for 1,240 days. The central line hanging in, watching all my friends die. The people that die the quickest are the people that go in there and tell the doctors, the arrogance. Hey, doctor, well, I got some silver supplement. I got some thing. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. The doctors just roll their eyes because it masks the blood work. You think it's well. They all die the quickest. It's called dogma. Your dogma is killing you. Is this going to end humanity? No. Is it going to end the earth? Hell no. Is it going to alter it forever? Yes, the greatest freaking pivot in human history, the age of nuclear fission. Is it going to completely annihilate the Pacific Ocean? No. Is it going to alter for time and alter? Is it going to kill? And I, this is so important. I think it's, you guys can do your fear porn whatever you want. Oh, the dollar's going to crash when the dollar makes multi-year highs. What the fuck? The dollar's not going to crash. The dollar's not going to crash. I'm telling you. Oh, China's going to call it in. Why would China call it in? We are China. China needs us more than them. We consume 38% of the world's GDP. Why they're using slaves as America? Please, we are China. New world order? No, old world order. It's neo-feudalism. But this PhD has walked the walk. It's not hypothesis. It's not freaking commentary. It's documentary. You can do your analysis of the analysis. And this is the perfect example because this is the greatest example that I have to talk about. Now we know as storms move across, that storm that moved across, wow, was epic. Get ready. But this, this is the big one, the whales, the dolphins. Okay, Japan's right here, the off island of Japan. I know factually, IAA gave them permission to do a massive dump, to flush all 1,000 freaking 94 tanks. They gave them permission to do it, to flush it. It was widely reported. That's it. I've recorded all this in history in real time. Not what's going to happen, could happen, what happened. That's what a PhD does. Prove it. Dock the walk. Do the dirty work. Walk the beaches of California. I've been on every single pier from San Diego to San Francisco. Every one with a central line, a lot of it hanging out of my jungle. Hit a bone marrow transplant. Hit New York City. Leading the million mass man of Washington Square. All over. Headed to Vienna. Look. They dumped. Four days. All the dolphins show up dead. And these people that are regurgitating, they have cuts all over. No, they did not. No, they did not. There is video that got out and photographs that got linked to me and others immediately. There's no cuts. Of, that's how they spin and throw you into the firma. And you could do whatever you want. I understand you got an ad sense. And I understand that's what the populace wants. You're trying to make a buck. You have every right. You have every right. More power to you. But I'm just thinking. Now, this is just opinion. This piece of it, the rest of this is pure work. That this is so important and this so is catastrophic that I don't think it should be spun. Look. There, the autopsy was done. Fukushima Diaries, PhD. The autopsy was done on 30 by this Japanese scientist. They can't use the word Fukushima. By the way, the state secret sealed it off. There was many more than 160. For days they've been washing. So Japan sits right here. They flush. There's a little eddy that goes down right like that that connects to the Japanese current. That's where this pod was sitting. They flushed. Fact, fact, fact. Acute radiation, acute radiation. If you're in a very acute area exposed to heavy radiation, your lungs are going to fill up with white mucus. That's exactly what's going to happen to you and you're going to die. That's exactly what happened to the dolphins. They have lungs very similar to ours, even though they breathe through the gill. They're exactly, that's exactly what happened. Him doing the bird study from the University of Carroll. Well, there's a great PhD. How about his PhD at South Carolina? He's awesome. Twelve swallows left. <laughs> You talk to the freaking IEA, you talk to these nuclear cartel, which I done, and San Lafre. I'm one of the main reasons San Lafre shut down. Peavy, freaking Cherry, they raided their house. I'm one of the main reasons. I bought this from freaking, this is reality. Videos to prove all this. I'm not a YouTube vlogger. The analysis is the analysis. I'm a fucking activist. I'm a PhD in the fucking street. I do the real work. The greatest PhD ever right here. Right down to my own leukemia. Did I hypothesize my own It's going to give you leukemia. It's going to give you leukemia. It's going to, AML leukemia. You watched me walk the walk. You watched me survive. You watched the fight. You watched in the streets with John Anthony, Steve Grant, all of this. What a group. You watched all of this in California, fighting the San Onofre monsters face to face, toe to toe, articulate. Right? That's the work. That's the work. So you hypothesize. I hypothesized. 
The event happens. You prove the event. You prove it, then the conclusion, the abstracts. You'll be able to walk all these abstracts. Here's a great abstract. In conclusion, as it's ongoing, there will never be a total conclusion because this is ongoing for time out to the greatest pivot in human history. It never had before. Oh, Chernobyl. This is millions, billions of Chernobyls. They know there's no answer. They've always known there's no answer. It's just a big cash cow giveaway. It's a catastrophe. It's the greatest catastrophe. It's killing the Pacific Ocean. Even the judge at the hearing, the USS Reagan's. I hope my camera's clicking. This will be in the Smithsonian one day. I finally quit me. Karen Lanny bought me this when I sang it, so. Fact! There were no cuts on the dolphins. That's spin. They feed it to you and then you go. I understand the economy of fear. I know you had to try to freak a fear, Alex Jones, Joe Slinton. It's the only way people will watch you when you're trying to make a buck on your AdSense. Maybe sell a FEMA camp, some iodine pills, or some fucking silver or gold. That's not me. This is a PhD and it's been recorded, all 1,500 fucking abstracts, all 1,500 pieces of fucking art, paintings, art, that's Michelangelo. What is art? Communication. You know they painted over all those at the Sistine Chapel. You want to be a fucking panty painter? You want to be a fucking diaper painter, Danny boy? Not me. Nobody's painting over my paintings. You go ahead and try all the fuck you want. Recorded in history? Oh, fucking right, it's recorded in history. F you, F you, Fructonium. That's again mine. That's again, plutonium's not freaking natural, it's man-made, so is F-U, plutonium. Very real. Laugh at it all you want. Very real. We don't even know what that energy coming out. No one knows. The heat coming off there, I call the red sun. I did an interview yesterday, and I don't even call it heat. It's an energy that's pushed up over and causing the western drought. And like I said, I hypothesized that, too. I told you that was going to happen. I'm glad that happened, too. The organic... The greatest PhD in human history, I did it. Here it is, right here. The hypothesis was done before it happened. The day that it happened, I told it hypothesis what was gonna happen. The freaking hard work in the street, the proving and doing my fucking work. 1,500 videos right there to prove all my fucking incredible fucking work. My fucking abstracts, right here, every fucking one of them. My conclusion, the greatest catastrophe in fucking human, natural, unnatural history to animals, to plant life, to everything, right here. Ongoing, just as I hypothesized. I called it post-ignorance for a reason, because of the ignorance. The epidemic of America is ignorance, ignorance. They've gone along right to their own, I saw it right with my own eyes, right in the bone marrow transplant. Oh, God's gonna save me. Oh, I got this, it's gonna save me. Here, I got this cure, it's not gonna happen to me. Bloop, you're fucking dead. Dogma, arrogance on Balco. Greatest PhD, 1,500 days. 1,500 days of Fukushima. I recorded it in fucking epic detail. Hard work beyond hard. You have no idea. You have no idea the blood, sweat, tears, the fucking fight. I was given two months to live. 0.04. This is about fucking survival. For my children, for my grandchildren, for everybody's fucking children to watch for all time and eternity. Wow. Post-ignorance. Someday. Not today. Stay in tune.